Good morning, everybody. It is Monday morning. It's beautiful. It's like the week of Thanksgiving and I'm getting ready. I wanted to share with you guys some new pieces I got from MCM. This part of the video is sponsored by MCM Worldwide. I have really, really good stuff to share. I even have like this really cool blazer I'm gonna wear today. So let's get to it. Okay, so story of my life. I am starting with an all black base. This has kind of been my uniform lately and then I will just layer on whatever jacket I feel and then whatever shoes and accessories. I opted for some relaxed trousers and a tank because I have this amazing blazer. It's boucle. So this is what it looks like. I wanted to share with you guys all the beautiful details because it is stunning. So because I want this jacket to stand out or because I think it's just such a nice statement blazer, that's pretty much like the reason why I just wanted to do a black base. It also just kind of contrasts with the black trim that this jacket has. So everything I got from MCM is from their holiday collection, but the great thing about this collection is that it's so versatile and it's like definitely obviously things you can wear all year round outside of the holidays, but this is just what they're launching this holiday. So here it is, how pretty. Has these really nice gold buttons right here has a little very subtle logo. And then I just love all of this. Shoulder pads, it's just the structure is amazing. You guys know how much structure means to me. And then I have this gorgeous bag. So MCM just did a whole brand refresh using a logo called Loretto's. I also have the wallet that has that exact new pattern but it still uses their iconic logo they just did a whole refresh so i was super naturally drawn to this bag specifically it's called the diamond tote i just love that it does look like a diamond i love how comfortable the handle is to hold because it can be all three it's like three bags in one which i love and i know you guys love so i can literally hold it like a little clutch i can hold it like a little bag this is also so fitting for like a business meeting, it can fit like a smaller iPad. It can fit so many things. You can also use it as a shoulder bag because as I said earlier, there is a strap inside and you can adjust it to make it shorter or longer. I personally like the whole clutch or handbag look. So I would definitely hold it like this. But how gorgeous does this whole look look? Okay, so two different ways I'd wear this. Obviously I wear this with heels. But I think this look is so also just like chic, even with sneakers. So I definitely wear it with sneakers for like just a casual day, maybe going out for lunch, running errands. But of course you can throw on some heels, make it more fancy and dressy. Here's a look with the heels. I just went for a heel that was similar color to the bag to kind of bring the bag out more. Um, so since I'm kind of wanting the jacket and the bag to stand out. I'm just gonna do really simple jewelry. So I just have like my wedding rings right here and I just opted for super simple huggies just because I think it should be simple with everything else going on. How cute is this? So just to show you the bag more one more time. Obviously it's super high quality. Again, I love the shape. I love how versatile it is. I love all the things it fits. I wanted to show you the inside. So let's take the strap out. Here's the inside again. You can fit so many things and you get an extra compartment right here with a zipper. But I also got the bifold wallet. It's super, super slim, nothing bulky. Then it has a bunch of card holders here and here for coins. And then just, you know, for your cash or whatever. And again, the new Loretto's logo. And that's it. I just love the look of this bag. I don't have anything like this, but it looks so chic. And I feel like it's one of those bags that I definitely know I'm going to get people asking me, like, where's that bag from? So if there's anything that you're interested in in the MCM Holiday Collection, if you love this one, by the way, there is a larger version if you wanted to use this for like business meetings, whatever, and you need to fit like a larger iPad or even a computer. There is a larger version. I just opted for the medium one. I feel like for me, it was big enough. You will get 10% off. I'll have a code 
All the info will be down in the description box below. Be sure to go there to see and get all the links as well as the discount. This would also make a great gift for any man, woman in your life. I feel like for someone like me, mom, sister, whoever loved one, this jacket is so gorgeous. Um, and then any of the wallets or bags that I mentioned, I'll even link some extras that I personally loved from their site. We're having some lunch. There's my brother. He's having a poke bowl and I'm just having a salad. Okay, we're here at Whole Foods. We're getting some stuff because we're in we're in charge of the roasted vegetables. So we're just getting a bunch of veggies. And I'll show you guys what we get. Okay, so we're back home. We had lunch, went to the grocery store. Like I said, we're in charge of the roasted veggies and drinks and dessert. I was gonna order pies from Whole Foods because their pumpkin pie is actually really, really good, but they're like all sold out on orders online. So she said that they for sure will have like, I don't know, that they'll be available. And I'm like, not the vegan one, okay? She's like, yeah. So we'll just go there maybe tomorrow or Wednesday, probably Wednesday early to get them. And yeah, that's basically it. I had to change out of my clothes because the black pants that I was actually wearing, oh, sorry about the sliding, but the black pants I was actually wearing is a little too small and I just got those. And so I decided to return them and just reorder them in my size. I was like, oh, maybe I could make them work. And I was very, very wrong. They're just too tight. But I, have to clean up my room right now. I wanted to give you, or I wanted to share what we did over the weekend because we did a bunch of fun stuff over the weekend. We, so let me fix this camera. So this weekend we went to Orange County. We went to Newport Beach. If any of you guys have been here for a long time, then you probably know that that's like originally where I used to live. I used to live in Newport and Irvine before I moved to LA. The only reason why I really moved to LA was because that was when I met Jamie. So anyway, we went back to Orange County and we went for like a little Santa, little, like basically to meet Santa. Presley, we took her. There's this thing called Once Upon a Christmas that they do every, like around this time of year. And it's, I feel like it was pretty expensive, but the thing that I like about it is that you really get like alone time. It's like a private tour through the North Pole and it's just you and your family. Like you're not with anybody else. It's by appointment. And so you literally go through this whole North Pole experience. It's super personalized. So they'll actually give you gifts to take home. You get to make some gifts. You get literally like so much time with Santa and like Santa was able to read Presley like a whole story, talk to her about what she wanted, just so many things. I felt like we had like 15 minutes with Santa, just us in a room um, and you get to take pictures and it was so cool, was so cute, but it definitely made me miss Newport. I know I've talked about this a couple times, how I want to move back and how like there's just nothing in the market. Um, but if I had it my way, I'd just like be back in Newport and I just love it. So I'm just getting my clothes together. I need to try on some of my stuff. Like I have all these jeans that I need to see if I fit. These are some redone jeans. They sent me a really nice package, but yeah, I just need to try them on. Their jeans are pricey, but they're so good. Got these ones as well. I love this wash. You guys have been seeing me wear this wash a lot and Feel like I'm kind of wearing a similar one right now tonight oh I'll share some of the footage from the North Pole I only have iPhone footage so I'll give you guys some of that letter and you can write some things that you want yeah, let's go get them. <laughs> 
on the naughty or nice list. Do you think we can test that out? Oh, <laughs> Presley made it to the nice oh, list. Oh, it's snowing. <laughs> it's in California. That is so magical. So much Christmas spirit. Wow. Look at some scratches like that. Touch the reindeer, Press. Oh, Presley, thank you so much. That feels so nice. Oh, he loves you like the finest toy soldiers. Just keep on ducking all the way through. Elf here. Any toys in here? So I'm gonna close this right here. We're gonna make a race car, okay? Can you hold this right here? And then can you hold it right under this blue light right here? Perfect. Good job. Oh! Thank it's in you, there Santa. Now, now the oh. magic is inside, Presley. Now all oh. we need is some love to go in there. We too. do need some love. Is there something you would like this year for Christmas? Would you like Santa to bring a whisper in my ear? Tell Santa. The one frosty. Say Olaf. Is Elsie your favorite? Tell me when he's on a plate. How marvelous it was to meet such a fate. I got some leather pants from H&M. I like that these are like a wide leg pleated. So I kept this. The pants that I was wearing earlier, the black ones, are from H&M. And believe it or not, I don't really have black pants. I mean, I have one. The quality just wasn't there. I know it's not that H&M pants are any better, but I don't know. I kind of liked the fit and the cut. And I just didn't want to spend too much on black pants because I feel like I don't really wear them that much. I don't know. We'll see. I might just get some like Aritzia ones or something, but actually I take it back. I should get a good pair, good quality black pant. But I just haven't found any that I feel like are casual, you know, just casual, just to wear like with sneakers. So yeah, big game today, Chiefs Eagles game. It's like the Super Bowl all over again. So Jamie's family's in town. So they'll, his mom and his stepdad are coming like in about an hour and a half or so to watch the game with us. They are here for Thanksgiving. They cook Thanks, they're gonna cook like basically the whole Thanksgiving meal. Um, we usually, we used to spend every Thanksgiving with them up in Northern California. They live close to Napa. So what we would do is we used to go up there like a day or two early, sometimes hit up the some of the wineries before Thanksgiving, maybe the day before, then go spend Thanksgiving with them then leave the next day to go into the city, San Francisco, um, and then spend the rest of the weekend there. And we used to always like have lunch at Rotunda, at Neiman Marcus, but we all know the state of San Francisco right now. So like that's been out of the question for the past couple of years. So we just like kind of avoid that. So yeah, it's really sad because we, we like loved looking forward to going up to San Francisco. We'd always stay like at the W over there and just like walk around, have dinner. But now it's just like not a place, you know, it's like not right now to go. But yeah, I used to love it. I used to love, love and look forward to going there so much. It was so fun and I just loved the vibe and the holiday spirit and like the weather because it's a lot colder all the time. And we would just have such a blast and we'd go out and it was just so fun. But it's really, I hope it gets back to where it was and maybe even better soon because I would love to be able to do that again and like bring Presley, you know. But anyway, I'm really excited for Thanksgiving because I feel like it's like a little break again, you know. I've been, we've been so busy, like so freaking busy since we got back from Hawaii. You know, every time you come back from vacation, you're always like catching up. And we have definitely been catching up. I have definitely been catching up with work. Um, I feel like we were gone half of November because we were there, or no, September? When we leave? Yeah, October, what is wrong with me? Oh my God, I need to take a nap. I'm actually really tired today. I feel like everyone has allergies right now, including myself. This morning, I don't know if I updated you guys or followed up, cause we, like I said, we're in Hawaii. 
right before we went to Hawaii, Presley kind of got really pretty well acclimated with school. So she stopped crying the week before Hawaii. She's kind of stopped crying at drop off. But of course we knew going to Hawaii was maybe going to set us back, maybe not, but it did. So we came back, she's back at school. She, you know, started getting separation anxiety again, but it's been a couple weeks. So last Friday when Jamie dropped her off, she didn't cry. This morning I dropped her off and she had her little bunny that she sleeps with. She took bunny in the car with her. She asked if she could bring it. I said, of course. And then she asked me in the car if she could bring bunny to school. And I said, of course. In my head, I'm like, oh my God, maybe this is like a really good thing for her to bring her little safety blanket with her. Maybe she'll feel safe. Maybe she'll feel excited. So I kind of hyped her up and was like, yeah, you should show Bunny everything you do at school. Take Bunny with you. Show Bunny how you play and what you play with and show Bunny to all your friends and your teachers. And so when we got there, she had such a big smile on her face. We went in school. She was so happy. She saw her teachers and the first thing she did was show the teachers her bunny she could care less where i was like she wasn't crying and i just left and no tears so bunny may just have to go to school with her every day yeah i'm proud of her that's just really good i just feel like so much stress is taken off my shoulders on a daily basis when i get reports like if jamie drops her off and then he reports that she doesn't cry or just like me drop her off that she doesn't cry which actually has not even happened with me like every time I have dropped her off she's always cried so this is the first time for me to drop her off where she's not crying and I cannot tell you the mental load and the relief that I have just from that alone it's it's huge <sighs> anyway so I don't know if you guys remember my cocktail for like avoiding getting sick so I'm on it again because you know it's just that time so press juicery wellness shots if you guys have a pressed they're pretty much everywhere but we buy like 20 or 25 of these at a time and we take them like three times a day and i'm telling you they're so potent they're so strong and they'll like you'll drink it and you'll be like <laughs> but they work the ginger so i take this i'm back on my modier life for my like plumpness and I swear like I have been feeling like my like my face wasn't as plump and then I just started taking this again and I swear it just I don't know I feel like it's so much better like my skin's so much nicer like I don't know if it's like I think the plumpness because this is collagen makes my face plumper right but I made my brother start taking sport and he was having really bad back problems he has had back problems ever since he was in college because he was body surfing one time and he got slammed at the beach and ever since then it just was like and he said he swears that this helped him feel better because it actually improves joint mobility and lubrication so i don't know that's what he said i never told him anything about it so that's that so i just pour it into the little hole in here and apparently that's one tablespoon two of these I'll just make sure to kind of rinse it because if you close it right away, it'll like spill all over the side of the bottle. And then I'll take Echinacea. I take two of these. Echinacea has always worked really, really, really well for me. So take that. And then I will do one of these um, lipospheric vitamin C packets. You're supposed to dissolve them in water, but I just kind of take it straight from the packet. And then every now and then, like my brother's a big Zycam person, I just take it because we have it. Otherwise, I usually will just skip that and just do what I kind of mentioned, and that's it. I'll also link these things for you guys. I also take a whole bunch of other supplements just like on a daily, but this is just like added to it for immunity. We also put out our tree today. So we have a flock tree. We have had this tree for like three years now and we just need to put the ornaments up, but it's already just so pretty even without the ornaments. I really want to do a new theme, but we spent like, you know, good amount of money on our ornaments and I still love them. So 
I think we'll just keep on at it for this year, maybe even next year, and then maybe the year after that I can think about doing a whole new theme. Right now it's like a red theme, which red's so in, but it's also very Christmassy, but that's kind of what we wanted. And yeah, I just don't know how people do like a whole new theme every year. I think if you're not spending a lot of money on your ornaments, then it's, you could change it up, but just cause we did, I'm just gonna keep at it. Okay. Putting the camera down again. I took it up or took it off the thing that I have it on and I am like, I need to talk to them again. I basically just ordered another pair of sandals. It's summer sandals, but I don't know. I feel like I even was wearing these same sandals today because in LA it's like, it's still like 80 degrees today and right now. Um, so I got another pair of YSL Tribute sandals or New Peed or whatever you want to call them. So I have so many pairs of these. I have them in cognac brown, black, white, I think three. So many. This is now my fourth. But when I saw this, I was like, oh my God, I had to get them. I got them from that site called Satire, C-E-T-T-I-R-E. -E. I'm not sure how you actually say it if that's correct then great i use these all the time in all the colors that i have i actually really like them a lot better than the hermes oran sandals just because i feel like these are just more i don't know the hermes orans they're so square so i feel like sometimes when you use certain outfits they don't really go as much as how these go i feel like these go with everything look how gorgeous they are a brown suede they're so pretty and because I know how much I use all the colors that I have of this I knew I would make really good use of this and also my brown ones this cognac ones that I got they're like a leather and I've used that so much it's gotten like wet I think I even wiped them down one time with like a baby wipe and it just basically ruined them but I would still wear them so I feel like I can kind of retire that and kind of like graduate to these but how pretty are they okay let me try them on so anyway I got them from that site I have now bought I don't know maybe four different things from that site and I can tell you that they're legit because even I was like worried that maybe they're not legit um, but I think they're like directly located in like Italy or Europe and I feel like that's why you can kind they can kind of like charge a lot less so here they are I think I saved around like $200 on these, but yeah, love them. We have everybody over for the Chiefs game. We have pizza. It's raining in Arrowhead. Morning, day after football, and they lost. Look, Press. Grandpa and Grandma. What are you eating, Press? Grandpa and Grandma. Grandpa and Grandma? Yeah. You want to say hi to them? No. Maybe they might be watching. What are you eating? I'm eating Elmeo. Elmeo. In my car. In your car? In my Disney. Who my gave you that? Santa. Santa gave you that. And the other one. And the one. What? Yeah. Wow. That one. Wow. You want to hold it? Yeah. Here, look. You can see yourself. I this. <laughs> you want me to make it stay? I have it. <laughs> you want to say, have a good day, everybody. Hi, good day. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> So I am getting ready. I was supposed to, or I thought I was gonna drop Presley to school. I've been doing the drop-offs lately, but Jamie, I guess, had some time. So it gave me time to get ready. The problem is that like, I'm always on morning duty. I know I've probably talked about this before with you guys, but I'm always on morning duty. So by the time I drop her, it's already like nine. And then I come home and I still have to get ready because I am not trying to get up at 5 a.m. to get my whole face done for a day of work. Cause obviously I'm always filming. So I kind of, you know, need to be done up. 
So now I have like an hour, I'm an hour earlier than I'm used to for getting ready. And it's always super nice because obviously with guys, you don't, they don't have to do all this makeup stuff. So lucky them. I'm going to listen to a podcast, get ready. I still do my gua sha, which by the way, I got a new face mini. New face sent me their mini device, which I have the regular version, like the big one. So I honestly will probably be more inclined to use the mini just cause it's probably not gonna take up so much space in my setup over here in the bathroom. I already have so much stuff, you know, like we just try so much stuff that gets sent to us. I think today I'm gonna try this one. This I just got on from PR. It's a new beauty brand called Polite Society. I like it because everything just kind of reminds people to be polite and be kind. And they're actually from the founders of Too Faced. So they just started a whole new beauty brand. But this one says it has niacinamide, willow bark, and vegan hyaluronic acid, whatever that means. <laughs> vegan hyaluronic acid, okay. Anyway, so that sounds very moisturizing and my skin has been so dry lately. Like everything's dry lately. My throat because the weather, California weather in the winter is just so dry. So I don't even use foundation, but I'll try this one today just because it sounds like it could be promising. So we'll see. And then I have to film and then I don't know what else I'm gonna do. I'll probably continue to vlog the day, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Anyway, you guys already see like the difference before I even started on this face, like why I love this gua sha thing. I don't know, I've just been happy with my face lately. I do just wanna get a little bit of Botox. <laughs> it also always is just this side, like my expression, I guess, is more prominent on this side. So sometimes I feel like when I smile or when I'm like doing my eyebrows and I wanna compare the two, I'm just like, why is it so weird on one side? And I, I figured out that it's cause one side is always more like, you know what I mean? <laughs> than the other, and it's definitely this. So anyway, I'm listening to Not Skinny But Not Fat. I think it's just, she's just talking on her own this episode. And she is talking about Trailer or Tavis, however you guys want to call Travis or Taylor. I was really hoping that Taylor Swift was going to be at the game last night. And if you have missed my past vlogs, then you wouldn't know. But I am pro Travis Kelsey, Taylor Swift. And I don't really care if you are. Like, I don't really care. Because if you're still hating at a time like this, and if you're still hating on two people showing each other love and affection, then I don't know, something's wrong with you because there's so much bad stuff going on in the world and then people just still wanna hate. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know where you, anyone gets the audacity to still spew hate on anything when there's so much, so much, so much bad stuff going on. Like we should be kind, be polite. We should just remember what's actually happening and when you see people loving each other, that should make you happy. Regardless of if it's Travis, Kelsey, and Taylor Swift. But just a reminder, be polite. You know, just always a reminder for those that hate. It's like your own projection of yourself. Whatever it is you're going through, because if you ever catch yourself judging, oh, that's another thing. I saw this quote and I reposted it on my story. It was really good and it was so true. If you catch yourself judging other people, living their lives on the internet, their confidence, what, what they wear, what they post, if you catch yourself judging anyone based off of that, it's not them, it's you. And basically start working on yourself because it's true. It's like, why are you gonna shit on someone's confidence? Someone that has confidence enough to put themselves out there. And then the ones behind the camera hiding that just wanna chirp, 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 and troll, 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 act like they have the balls, but they don't, they just hide. So there will probably still be a troll that's gonna comment about this segment, even though I said what I said. Mm. I don't know if this is too light, but there's always bronzer.
Okay, this is my final look. I just did a quick little zhuzhing of the hair, just like a quick little blow dry, just in the front parts here and just the tops and that's it. I really need a haircut and I'm debating between trying something new. Not that I don't like the girl that I see, but there's this guy that I keep seeing, like his haircuts here in LA and I just don't wanna try, but yeah. I just wanna keep the length. That's the problem. So, I don't know. They might just have to add more layers, but I just need a trim at the ends. Anyway, time to film. All right, so I'm all done filming. I just threw on these Aritzia, what is this? This is an Aritzia workout set because I really plan on working out later today, but I really like how it scrunches in the middle here and it's super flattering. Um, I'm gonna go get lunch with my brother, something light, just cause we had pizza last night and then it's Thanksgiving week. So we'll figure that out. But I also just wanted to get this vlog out to you guys. So I think I'm gonna stop it here and then start back up with a new vlog next week or something, or maybe even sooner. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, everything, all the info um, will be down in the description box below. If you need anything, it will be there. And again, thank you so much. I am extremely, extremely, like you don't even know how much, how grateful I am for you guys. I feel like if you started here with me, you're like one of the first. And if you're still here and still watching, like I really love you. I really love you guys just for just supporting me. It means more than the world. And that's one of the top things that I am extremely grateful and thankful for. So I just wanted you guys to know that. Hope you have a good week and day and I'll see you soon.